Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name's Bronte and this week I thought I would do a um, a little stationary chat episode. So I've got some goodies here to talk about and I also have some like planner updates, tiny ones, um, to, uh, to show you as well. So I thought that's what we'd do. So first I thought I would talk about like acquisitions, new stuff. Um, and this literally just arrived, so I haven't opened it yet because look how gorgeous this packaging is. Um, so I thought we could open this together. Um, so where should we start? Uh, okay, well, let's start with the um, kind of least recent, the oldest, I don't know. Um, so this uh, sticker album is from, it's a MU uh, sticker album for their print on stickers. I got this from Miso Paper for my Giving Girl stickers. And this is working really well. Um, I just wanted somewhere to have all of these together because I reach them often. And um, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to be able to have them all in one place all together and there's lots of uh, like extra sleeves so I have space to add some more <laughs> oh look I'm moving another one that was supposed to be in there okay so yeah um I'm really pleased with this little album it's a really nice like portable size and it's not too chunky um so that's one miso paper purchase um <clears throat> Also from Miso Paper, I got two things from the brand Ours, um, O-U-R-S, um, Ours Studio. Uh, I've, um, I've admired this, oops, I've admired this brand for, uh, not a long time, but I saw these stickers on, uh, Pinky Elephant. Uh, which is a US sticker shop um, and I absolutely fell in love with this art style uh, I just yeah oh my goodness these are so beautiful so these are I think this is supposed to be like a museum or it is supposed to be a museum theme um, my hands are a bit shaky because I've drunk too much coffee as usual but yeah so gorgeous and they have gold almost it is gold falling but it's it's edging actually towards rose gold it's beautiful so there's two sheets of the same um and i absolutely love these and i was really happy to see that um miso paper had added this brand um so yeah i had to get those and then i also got a tape a, a pet tape from ours studio uh i don't buy pet tapes lightly because they're expensive and there's a lot on one roll so you have to know that you really want the tape but in the past month I have actually acquired three tapes so <laughs> pet tapes so yeah um, I have the other two here to show you but let me show you this one first so this one is called desk of botanist um, and it's so amazing <laughs> there's like playing cards and like uh little like labels and then there's flowers and uh apple is it an apple yeah like fruit and then notebooks and just this shelf is my favorite bit like a little desk shelf uh like a scrapbook more flowers and then there's like Kind of like almost like little victoriana memorabilia like pins and uh what's that supposed to be like a, some kind of brooch a uh, set of keys torn paper and like envelopes and then we're back to the beginning of the repeat so it's quite a long repeat uh, i would say it's like a meter and the colors are so lovely they're kind of like beiges and greens and then this kind of like soft almost like burgundy um so yeah i absolutely love this and as pet tapes go it wasn't 
mega expensive. I think it was 14 pounds, which, you know, some pet tapes can be like 25. So um, I don't think that's too bad. And it's like a, it's one of the ones that's kind of matte and then the design is shiny. Um, but yep, I've already been using this in my Hobonichi cousin and in my in my weeks, the um, hobbies journal I've got going on and I love it. So that was my miso paper order. Um, then I got two pet tapes from London Gifties. Um, I haven't ordered from London Gifties before, but um, I think I said this in my last video. Somebody I follow on Instagram has quite a few of these tapes and I was inspired by them so I got this one in one order and then this one in a separate order because this was released I think these were released when I was on holiday and I saw this one and I was like oh I have to have that so <laughs> so yeah um so one I've got is like uh I think it's called rainy reading nook um this is a sample of it because I wanted to get to a bit that was further into the roll um so yeah it's just so beautiful um and these tapes are really good quality and also really big like these are almost as big as the palm of my hand um so yeah that's that one if you want to see more of this um watch my previous video i'll link it in the cards because uh, i did a whole week of using this tape um in september so that's that one and then there is this one um which has holographic foil so the other doesn't have any foiling this one has holographic foil and this one is called mushroom jars or like jars of mushrooms or something like that um and i'm obsessed i'm obsessed <laughs> so this was part of an autumnal release that she uh, that you know the woman who runs London Gifties that she did um and it's so cool I love it uh and it's perfect because it's um because it's October now I'm doing a full month of like autumnal slash spooky themed spreads in my cousin so this has been perfect for that and again um it's such great quality and yeah, the, the holographic foil is so lovely. It's subtle. I don't know even know if you can really see in this light, but um, it's really special. I don't know. So there's two London Gifties purchases and she packages everything so nicely as well um, and includes some like freebies from her other tapes and things. And tea, actually. I had a cup of or two cups of one of the teas she sent yesterday and it was really nice tea um so that's nice uh, let's just put this away okay so then uh another um acquisition is uh i placed another red bubble order <laughs> um i'm not entirely sure why i think this came from me being really bored last weekend and i was like window shopping on Redbubble on my phone for like an hour um and I ended up ordering some stuff um and if you bought 10 stickers you got 50% off so yeah I did it um <laughs> so I've already given two of them a home um I have this one emotional support kindle I put this in my kindle case and then um I got this one one more chapter this little skeleton I put this on my uh, one liter water bottle um so i don't know he fit there and he looks at home there so he's on there then i also got these guys some of them are like fandom ones and some of them are just whatever um so this one's like a really cute like witch cafe with cats also if you want to know where I, the shops or like the artists or whatever just leave me a comment and i'll find it for you um so yeah i follow this artist on instagram actually they're really good, like amazing then this is a ninth house one it's kind of like a postcard for the the house in ninth house um adopt a familiar 
which oh, so cute. They had there's a few different versions of this, but one of them had a spider on, and I really didn't want a spider, so <laughs> um, this was the one I went for with the bird and the toad and the hare bird. It's a it's a raven or an, and a rat and a, an owl and a cat. Um, I got this lovely like m moonrise Stonehenge one. You can see I was kind of feeling spooky. Um, this is a uh, a Court of Thorns and Roses um, Night Court library card. I thought that was really cute. And then this one is super cute. I run an iced coffee and books. This is kind of basic, but I love it. I don't care. <laughs> um, and then I got another spooky one, this Trick or Treat cat. And then this David Duchovny. <laughs> Um, because it made me laugh. It's like a tweet. It's, I watch it for the plot and then it's like pictures of Mulder looking very handsome. So <laughs> I need to find a really good home for that. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. Um, but yeah, just some more Redbubble stickers. Uh, I'm really glad that I kind of like discovered Redbubble. In a, not that I didn't discover it. It's that like I decided to start ordering stuff from Redbubble. So yep, that's those. Um, then, okay, I think I'm going to open this next. So these are some um, pet tape loop samples. Uh, I got this from an Etsy shop called Tiger and Pen. Um, I'll link shops in the description, by the way. Um, so yeah, this literally just arrived and the customer service was so great because I made a mistake with the quantities um, and the owner of the shop was really uh kind and accommodating and yeah look at this beautiful packaging so let's open um there's a lovely handwritten note like a thank you um which i want to take off yeah oh so nice that's going in my cousin <laughs> let's put that to one side and then oh that's such lovely packaging i'm definitely saving this Oh, look at this. Wow, so nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at these freebies. Wow. Okay. I'm not expecting all of this. Wow. So, these two pet tape, oh, they're not pet tape, they're washi tape, like, you know, loops. Um, these are from a brand called Deer Studio, D -E -E R, like the animal. Um, I can't find these really anywhere, but I found some loops available online, for, you know, on Etsy. So there was three left of this loop and I bought all three because it's stunning. And then I got one loop of this one because I love this too, but I don't like it as much as I like this one. Okay, so I really hate elastic bands, so I'm going to cut these. Because I really don't like the texture. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, this one... I actually have found this retailed, this, this tape retailing somewhere. Uh, but it is, like, in America or... Is it in, like, Taiwan or something? I don't know. Um, it's amazing. I think it's called a uh, hydrangea journal or hydrangea garden or something but it's very like victoriana i th think that yeah i don't know it's so beautiful i'm just looking at this being like hmm these would make nice tattoos like look at this composition like i love that so beautiful um a cloche Oh, it's really lovely, and the colours are so great too. <gasps> and the scissors, wow. I really want a tattoo of some old-fashioned scissors. One day I'll get one, you know, like, kind of like, I like this, like a twiddly pair of um, embroidery scissors. And these little specimens. <gasps> oh, look at these. Wow. And the mushrooms. <gasps> okay, I'm still going on the first loop, by the way. It's so long. Oh, look at all these butterflies. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, so then this is the beginning of the loop. Wow, it's like... I don't know how long...
long this is. I reckon this is the best part of two meters worth. So that is a big loop of tape. That's amazing. Okay, I'm glad that I got all three because I love this so much. Wow. Yeah, so the, the shop only had three um, loops of this left. And yeah, so sorry I sold it out. Um, but you maybe would be able to find it somewhere else. What I'll do is I'll find the proper name and put it in the description. Let me just roll this up and then I'll come back. Okay, so then this is the other one that I got. Um, I cannot remember what this is called. I'll put it in the description. There was some more of this available, so if you want some. Um, this is like a, oh, so cute. It's kind of more like, I don't know, like vintage-y cottage core. This is a cottage core one, guys. Let's, yeah. Oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful little elements. And I like these because they're not like overly, they're not like super, I was gonna say like fancy and like feminine. I don't know, there's something about these illustrations that are so nice. Um, I don't really go for like super florally stuff. And obviously these tapes are florals or they do have lots of floral elements, but yeah, I don't know. These are just so cute. This fun with the doilies, beautiful little pack of books. Oh, the tea, like the coffee, is that a coffee pot, a tea kettle? So nice, olive branch, ooh, that's nice. A stack of like sweaters and like a little hot chocolate. Oh, the stamps, nice with the olive branch. Sun hat, cup of tea, oh, it's so lovely. So, so nice. So yeah, I wonder if I may have to source a whole roll of uh, this one. I would totally take a whole roll of this too because it's, they're just so nice. So yes, these are from Tiger and Pen on Etsy. Um, would definitely recommend the shop. She also has like other tapes, like quite a lot of tape samples. She sells all like loops of tapes. Um, so if you don't want a full roll, it's good. It's worth checking out her shop. Um, so the little freebies. Wow, so nice. Okay, so this is a really cute little clip. Um, I don't want to damage that sticker. This is a nice like photography prop. <laughs> um, to have in the back of photos and stuff. And then, wow, look at all of these. Oh, for you. That's a little... A little bear kind of looks like a mouse okay wow look at all of these things okay so these are samples there's some more samples of other things that that the shop sells these little stamps are cute my goodness these are like um die cut washi stickers on a roll wow that's that's cool Oh, Miso Paper just got these, I think. They're lovely. Ah, oh, look. She's put these on backing paper. That's so nice. It's a little wax seal. <gasps> Another, wow. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. And then some like collage -y papers. Mm. And, oh my goodness, wow, look, washi samples. I actually just bought some of these, um, uh, like, swatch card thingies because um, I want to be able to give washi samples to my friends and um, I just decided to buy some of these because it seemed like the best thing. Well, what a lovely, lovely order. I look forward to doing some fussy cutting and <laughs> cutting out these. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll leave it for a while because I do have a lot of stuff that's already like fussy cut. Um, we'll see. Okay, let's move the stuff. Okay, and then the last new thing I have to show you is this. So um, let me just check I'm in frame because 
Okay, yes, I am. Okay, so this is from a company called Atoms to Astronauts. And they reached out to me on Instagram and asked if they could send me a notebook, which is so amazing. <laughs> um, so this is the one I asked for. This is the dinosaur design in the soft cover. So they do soft and card cover notebooks. Um, I prefer a soft cover notebook, so that's what I went for. Uh, they're all kind of like science themed. Um, and there was loads I could have chosen, but I really liked the colours in this dinosaur one. So I went with dinosaurs. Um, and I also really liked the placement of this text here. So the design wraps around and um, the inside cover is also printed, which is really nice. This is just like all of the science type things. There's like astronomy and I don't even know, like chemistry and stuff. I'm no, I'm not scientifically minded in the slightest. So <laughs> yeah, but um, it has really nice cream paper inside grid paper let's measure the grid i think it's five mil um where's my ruler yep it's five mil grid um so i tend to like to write two lines to one two lines of text to one line of grid when it's five mil um because five mil seems huge compared to the hobonichi ones uh, which are 3.7 so um yeah i really like this though it's it's nice quality paper and it's fountain pen friendly apparently um i thought i'd do some pen tests so i pulled pulled some pens to test uh, i don't have any fountain pens inked up right now so i can't share those but yeah maybe i'll share on instagram later but so let's go for some pens this is Uniball 1P in 0.38. I'm just going to do it on the first page and then I, I can always scalpel this out. Or it can just be... I'm going to start here so I've got space for a title. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to write um, some... I'm just going to write and then I'll look at the ghosting last, I think. Um... I just realized I said that this is a Uniball 1P and it's not it's just a Uniball 1. These are the one. Um, this is the 1P. I have it in 0 0.5, let's try that too. So my handwriting is not the best, but we move. Okay, so let's see. I think this is really nice. Like there's actually no bleed through and there is some ghosting, but that's fine. Like I'm used to that with the Hobonichi paper. I think the most ghosty is <laughs> the Pentel Touch. Um, and obviously you wouldn't be writing like whole pages of stuff with a Pentel Touch. I don't know, maybe you would, but I personally, I wouldn't. Um, I think this has uh, held up really nicely with all of these different pens. And um, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, <laughs> but leave me your suggestions. I don't know, maybe it could be... It, maybe it could be something like a an overflow notebook or like, I don't know, if I have like overflow from my hobbies journal for next year because that I have in black these two sit together rather nicely so we'll see yeah but thank you to um atoms to astronauts for sending this over um it's a really lovely notebook quality is great so that's that's that guy okay so now I thought I would show you quickly um I've just been doing something slightly differently in my common planner that I wanted to show you. Um, let's see. So, where's my coffee? Um, here is my common planner. Uh, I've, been, I've had a really, 
I feel like I say this all the time. I've had a really busy week and I haven't really uh, used this that much. Although it does look really full, actually. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time writing in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had to go into work on my day off um, yesterday. Uh, so Friday. So I'm filming on Saturday. I would normally film on a Friday. Um, and I've also got back into playing Animal Crossing this week, which has been... Uh, very bad for my productivity. <laughs> very good for the productivity on my island, but not good for productivity in the real world. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing in the um, kind of monthly tracker sort of section. Um, last time in the last quarter, I decided I was going to use this as a tracker, but like I didn't fill it out, as you can see. Um, so I decided to do something a bit different when I was setting up for October. I've still done like a little list of like vibes <laughs> for the month, um, which sounds kind of lame, but I don't know. I, I like, I, at the beginning of the year, what I did in my cousin was like on New Year's Day, I sat down and wrote about things I was thinking about for the new year and I really like looking back at that list so I feel like these are like mini versions of that and then I decided to start writing in books I was reading um, in the monthly kind of tracker so I can see how long it took me to read different books I started doing this right at the beginning of the month on the first uh, because I started a book on the 1st of October and I, it seemed like a really good time to start doing this. And then um, I saw that Nicole Josephine, she has a new planner coming out, um, which is really exciting. Um, and I'll talk about that in a minute, actually. That's the last thing I want to talk about. Um, yeah, so she has a new planner coming out and it has similar sections to this with like a vertical monthly layout like one line per month and I um saw that she I was just going to write the name of the book and then like draw an arrow but I saw that Nicole had done a uh, kind of this like brackety thing and I really liked that so I've started doing that and yeah it's looking nice already I've already read two books this month and I'm gonna start a third later so yeah, that's that's all. Um, I have this cute sticker here from Harriet Wright Designs. I wanted to pick one that kind of went with all three months and the autumnal one seemed nice. So yeah, um, we're still using everything else the same in here. Um, and I'm still loving this planner. I just haven't had as much of a chance to sit with it today. Or sorry, um, this week. Um, I did make a list for the today though. Let's just I like that. <clears throat> wow, this mustard really matches the leather. I hadn't even noticed that. That's good. Um, so yeah, that's the common planner. Still loving it. And um, it's working really well for me. Um, but I'm um, sorry, not but, but I was going to say I have the full year one for next year. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I bought it um unused from somebody on instagram so it's one of the older iterations of the common planner it's not the new 2024 ones it's an undated full year one with a cardstock cover uh i don't like the pleather covers that she did so yeah i've talked about this before so i'm not going to again but i because i um i don't know i just i'm chaotic i guess <laughs> um i have still been thinking about my system for next year even though I technically have it all in place and Nicole Josephine's planner I will put a picture on the screen it launches today on Kickstarter uh, later on today I think and because because I I don't know I'm constantly overthinking um, I'm thinking about getting it it's so nice it's b6 so it would fit in this leather cover um, it's got beautiful cover um and it looks like a really interesting layout so she has 
um, it's a little like the common planner, but not. I prefer actually the weekly layout in Nicole's planner. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do, you guys. Um, this video is going to come out on Monday, so I may have already decided to purchase this planner. I need to check the price and the shipping because it does come from Canada. And I do have the common planner already. But as I mentioned, it is undated, so I could hang on to that indefinitely. Um, we'll see. I just, I don't know. I really don't need Nicole's planner. And if it is too expensive, then I will just stick with what I have. Um, we'll see. I, I'm really excited to see people use it, though. I think it's going to be so beautiful. And it has Tomo River paper and everything. Um, the grid is four millimeter, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm torn. It's so beautiful. Um, and it's tempting me. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I'll I'll update you, I guess, next week, maybe to tell you if I ordered it or not. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about today. Sorry if this was a little rapid fire, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you next week. Next week, um, what am I doing next week? I think I'm planning to start doing some kind of Halloween-y type. Yeah, I think next week I want to kind of do a chat about my hobbies journal. And then I was maybe going to, because it's a book journal, I was going to talk about books for spooky books for spooky season um and then the following week i'm gonna start the deco for my 2024 system because i cannot wait any longer like i really want to stick the stickers down <laughs> and i really want to kind of feel like i'm moving forwards into the new year so i know it's still only october but you guys you guys know what i mean um so yeah, that's that. That's the next few weeks. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, I will speak to you next week. And yeah, if there's something you liked, it will be should be in the description. If it's not there, just leave me a comment. Um, thank you so much, everybody. I'll speak to you next week and have a lovely week. Bye.